She takes me upstairs, throws me in the bathroom, kicks the door shut, turns on the hot water to the sink. And all I see is steam coming up from the sink. I have no idea what's about to happen. My mom says, I'm the devil. You're the devil, Derek. You're the devil. And she takes my left little hand, holds it under that hot water. As I scream for my life, screaming, no, mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And she's holding me on under that water by my wrist. And then she lets me go. And I'm holding my hand, and I look in the mirror and see the reflection of the most angriest person I've ever seen. My mom, who's supposed to love me, who's supposed to guide me, who's supposed to protect me. And then my mom grabs my left little hand again in a fit of rage and holds it under that hot water a second time as I screamed for my life, five years old. It felt like eternity. And I'll never forget this image. And when she finally let go of my hand, all the skin came off in one big clump into the sink. I'll never forget that. But you know what's even crazier than that? Yeah, she burned my hand. But she burned into my heart, into my spirit, into my mind, into my soul that I was a bad kid, that I had no value. She bandaged me up. And a few months later, her and my stepdad loaded me up in a car. We ended up at this big building. And my mom and my stepdad are talking to a few people, and then a guy in a white coat says, Derek, come with me. And I look at my mom, and I don't ever remember my mom saying I love you to me. I don't ever remember my mom saying, I'm coming back for you, Derek. You just need a little help. She left. and never came back. She abandoned me at a psychiatric hospital at five years old. If you've ever been in a psychiatric facility, you get a lot of tests done on you, especially if you're a kid. 